are the yin and yang of Tuesday night's smash hit NCIS. Michael Weatherly and Cody DePablo. Well, tonight, they prove it right here in Studio 4. All yours. Thanks, Mark. I'll take it from here. Cody, are you ready to be interrogated by a dangerously handsome man? Bring it on. I actually have some questions of my own, Michael. She's new. Cody and Michael's chemistry on the show is perfect and off, well, pretty much the same. You look very beautiful in high def. Uh, <laughs> now, we have to make this quick because I can't hold my stomach in this entire interview. <laughs> what was your first impression of me when, when we met? Really? I thought you were going to sabotage my audition. Halfway through the audition, you leaned over and you grabbed my hair and you did something that completely, you went off book completely, which you often do. And I did not because I was coming from New York and I was coming from the theater. I have a Harry Dean Stan approach. Well, you grabbed my hair and then you said, you're so pretty, you remind me of Salma Hayek. Did Oops. you not say that? I, and I thought, this guy's totally flirting with me, sabotaging my audition. I totally didn't like you. And then you took me home. And then we totally clicked. That sounded <laughs> bad. I didn't take you home. You totally... I drove you home. You dro okay, fine. You drove me home. Your dad's going to see this. The fans have named us Tiva. Tiva. Yes. Yes. If it were up to you to pick a name for us as a couple, what would it be? Woo! Ham and cheese. <laughs> Hold on. I'm the ham, you're the cheese. I would go, uh... <laughs> I'm clearly the ham. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, I'm the cheese? No! That's you know what I always get at airports all the time? Are you guys ever in a kiss? All right. And Let's I do say, it. oh my, well, what, you and I had a, like a talk show. We would, would have fun. Yeah. It would be cable and probably only in Michigan. <laughs> Tonight on CBS, Tiva aren't any closer to the scene everyone wants to see. I cannot believe you. If you wanted to meet him, you could ask me to introduce you. I wouldn't be doing my job if I didn't check on him. Tonight's NCIS, intense, riveting may change the series forever. And tomorrow, once the secret's revealed... We'll be back here on E.T. with home movies from the set. Ooh, I'm looking forward to that, and you are welcome back anytime. Ben. A nasty NCIS fight scene. We're on the set. Here's how we did it. But first, an NCIS knockdown drag out fight stripped to the core by stars Michael Weatherly and Cody DePablo. Last night on NCIS, you saw my most intense fight scene ever. Now, here's how we did it. Only E.T. was there to see the precise choreography that goes into making such a smackdown. You've seen Casino Royale, Quantum of Solace? Yes. Kid stuff. Nearly 16 million people tuned in to see the drama on CBS last night, and Michael told Kevin Frazier how he prepared for the brawl. I watched Quantum of Solace. <laughs> then I watched The Bourne Identity and The Bourne Ultimatum. And he had a stuntman there helping him out, too. Sorry, Michael. Still, his family was worried about him being in such a violent altercation. I told my mom about the fight scene, and she said she didn't want to know any more until after it was done and I was safe. <laughs> because it's that dangerous. Really? Michael's mom probably cringed at that, but our man came out ahead in this battle. You only have to take one look at me that my clearly, you know, very defined musculature to understand that I'm a deadly weapon. Right. With a beating American heart of gold. And you still have the big season finale to look forward to next Tuesday on CBS. All right, Cody DePablo. <laughs> Are you ready? Yes, Gruffy Man, do yes. it. What was your first impression of me when, when we met? Really? I thought you were going to sabotage my audition. <laughs> and I thought you were just completely unprofessional. But kind of good looking. That's what I thought. I'm confused by your answer. No, you're not, because you've heard this 10,000 times. And with that, what was your first impression of me when we met? And I know the answer, I know the answer, I know the answer. My first impression was that you were a very put-together young lady. Uh, from New York. I was amazed by the focus and the clarity of the performance and before I knew it I um, I had fallen uh, hopelessly desperately into a, a, an enchanted spell. Wow, that was quite the answer. Uh, Alright, thanks. <laughs> I'm not sure if it was the truth. The fans have named us Tiva. Tiva. Yes. Yes. If it were up to you to pick a name for us as a couple what would it be? Be honest. Be real. Woo! Ham and cheese. <laughs> Hold on. 
I'm the ham, you're the cheese. I would go, uh, <laughs> I'm clearly the ham. <laughs> Uh, I'm the cheese? No. That's awful. Yeah, no, but I mean that not in a not in a you are not, awful. In a, not in like a whipped cheese way, more in a fromagey kind of like not Okay, enough. What are you, oh, you're like I'm a, not even gonna go further on that. You're cultured. Why do you think we have such good chemistry on the show? <laughs> uh, because I think we had a really interesting audition. You think it started there? I think it totally started there. I wanna actually share with you guys an actual real moment. Mm. This audition, I walked in. There was another girl auditioning also. Two people were testing for the part. And she went in first, and then I went in second. And uh, she was kind of flirty with you, and I wasn't, I remember. Halfway through the audition, you leaned over and you grabbed my hair, and you did something that complete. You went off book completely, which you often do. And I did not, because I was coming from New York, and I was coming from the theater. So professional. No, not, well, it wasn't that. It was just your way of, you know, working. Right. Which was interesting. I have, a, Har I have a Harry Dean Stanton approach. Well... You grabbed my hand and you said, you're so pretty, you remind me of Salma Hayek. Did Oops. you not say Oops. that? I, and I thought, this guy's totally flirting with me, sabotaging my audition. And then I thought, oh God, oh God, end of audition, I totally didn't like you. And then after that, I changed into my other wardrobe, which was not the character wardrobe. And then you took me home. And then we totally clicked. That sounded <laughs> bad. <laughs> wait, that no, no, wait. It happened. wasn't like you took me home, you took me no, home no, like I, that. I didn't take you home. You I totally, drove you home. You dro okay, fine. You drove me home. If you could take over any other actress's role uh, on TV for an episode, who would you choose? Any character, any female character in the Tudors. Really? And you, and you would know that. So you just want to get killed by Henry? O or kissed by Henry. Kissed and killed by Henry. Maybe. I like him. If NCIS were to ever kill off my character, how would you like to see them do it? I would kiss you, and I would put a knife through your gut. Wow. That's this pretty is... graphic, but it's kind of passionate, and I like it. Yeah. So you, you're into this whole kissing, <laughs> kissing, killing. Is that a South American thing? No, it's not. It's, I think I've been watching the Tudors a little too much. Maybe. What do NCIS fans most often ask you about me? Uh, they want to know how hot you are. They're like, dude, she's so totally hot. I did. I had a guy at the airport come over, and he was just like, it was all about the Ziva. He wanted to know, if, is Ziva uh, as dangerous as, and is sexually uh, and you're like, no, she's charged? Not. I think, I think. She, you're like, she's a goofball. If you only knew she's a goofball. <laughs> no, I, I, I don't tell them that, because I want to keep the suspension of disbelief. I want people to believe <laughs> That, that you're, you're all of that. that you're some you're Mossad uh, killer. She's an Israeli. You know, the, you know what I always get at airports mm. all the time. Are you guys ever gonna kiss? All right. And Let's I do say it. it's not. No. And I say it's not. It, and I say it's not. I, I don't know. And I say it's up to the writers. And I said, Michael and I have nothing to do with it. But we have kissed. We did. Yeah. How was it? I don't remember. <laughs> That's the best answer ever. It's a long time ago. It was a long time ago, and you've kissed a lot since. Well. You, you forget.